Today's collectible spot, we're having a look at the Connects Building World's Kids Love, the Family Guy Peter and Station Wagon Building Set. This building set not only includes the Griffin uh, car, but certainly also a Peter figurine. I'm not sure if this is necessarily business suit Peter, as if he's going off to business, off to work, or if he's uh, ready for church. But you get yourself uh, Peter in a suit, and of course the station wagon. Uh, it's actually 110 pieces, so recommend for ages 8 and up. On the side of the package, just shows you a built car looks clearly like Peter can fit inside the car. I wonder if it will fit a, a second character as well. Of course, we will answer that question soon enough when we get this put together. On the back of the package, the breakdown of the car, the breakdown of Peter Griffin, down, <laughs> down below a picture of Peter as well. And certainly on the side, the other figures that we the other figures that we've been looking at, the two pack featuring Brian and Meg, Stewie and Lois, and Peter and Chris. The other building set that also is available is the Stewie and Time Machine, which we'll be looking at as well. For everything Connects, you can go to www.connects.com. You can also follow them along at Facebook at facebook.com forward slash build connects. Having said that, Spot's going to take a break. A small break. I'm going to put this together. When we come back, we are going to get a better look at the Connects Family Guy Peter and Station Wagon building set. Don't go anywhere, guys. There's more heading your way. Of course, included with the station wagon, you get yourself an instruction guide showing you how to put the unit together. It didn't really take all that long. It took me about 10 minutes to put it together from start to finish. Moving the instruction guide out of the way, the mini figure that comes with the station wagon is Peter in his business slash uh, church attire. He's basically in a suit. Uh, by comparison, let's reach off camera. That is, here is the uh, two-pack Peter that came with Chris. You can see uh, they don't look that much different aside from really what he's wearing. Um, unlike the Stewie, which clearly has a different facial expression, uh, Peter looks exactly the same. Uh, same articulation as well. His head does rotate left and right. Arms rotate back and forth. He has a rotation in the hand, of course in the waist, and uh, also in his legs. Again, really liking that they're giving us, at least in this case, a different Peter. And hopefully they're going to keep doing this. We're going to get different variations of uh, not only Peter, but certainly the other cast of Family Guy. Which then gives us, which then brings us to the station wagon. Again, it didn't take very long at all to put it together. And for the most part, I think it looks really nice. Uh, it does hold one figure. I thought it was actually going to hold two figures, but the way that it, it's spaced out, it can really only it only really seems to accommodate the one figurine. Um, it is attached only really by this peg here. So we're just going to unpeg the one side and unpeg the other side and take this whole apparatus, this whole top roof off, put that to the side, and you've got the main station wagon inside. Very similar to, to actually the Mario Kart building sets. Uh, to put Peter in the car, you're actually not going to sit him like this. You're going to take the torso, the lower legs off, and leave only the torso aside. And you're going to peg him into place. And you've got Peter in the car. But as you can see, it doesn't really house enough space to even put someone like Lois in. Um, even taking the torso off, she unfortunately would not be able to fit in the car. Um, it, it's a shame that really you can't accommodate both two Family Guy characters, but you can still at least get Peter in there. Um, and then we'll just take the roof, actually the roof here that just unpegged from the brick here. Just gonna peg this in back in, take this section and peg that into place like so. And you've got the station wagon back with Peter inside. I'm really happy with this build. I'm really happy actually with the way it looks. Uh, the only thing I would say uh, as a nitpick to the building set, uh, the station wagon turned out nice, but I wish there could have been something done differently to the upper roof. 
Uh, the roof section here is cardboard. And uh, if it maybe had been plastic, I, I don't, I worry a little bit that this might tear after a while. Because really, essentially, you're getting the poles that are going through these little holes up in the the roof here. And with this being cardboard, um, I just hope you know. With if you ever take it apart, put it back together. Take it apart, take it apart, put it back together. I don't know how. I'm worried about how long this will will last. So I I kind of wish this was plastic. And then uh, the only other gripe, the only other small thing I would say is I wish this was all one color. It uses the standard Connects building bricks, the building pieces, um, which work. However, because it's yellow, you've got the gray and you've got the red and other colors there. It's a, uh, it breaks it up a bit. That I wish it was all red. The red here uh, would have worked perfectly for the sides as well. So I mean that's the. The one thing I really wish that they could have changed was having the red completely carry over to the full frame of the roof and uh, not really just be in the front and the back and then in the middle section there. But uh, it rolls. It rolls actually quite well. And uh, some really nice details on it. Sticker work on the front, on the front uh, uh, lights, and certainly on the back bumper uh, sticker application there. But for the most part, uh, a really easy build. Uh, again, if not for this, I think as a whole it looks nice. I just wish that again this was all uh, this was all red that put this piece to, uh, these pieces were put together. I like the idea of including the business suit uh, Peter. I think that's a nice touch, and again only lends itself more to the fact that I'm I'm glad that fingers crossed. I hope they're going to keep producing Family Guy properties. Um, if anything, even if they don't end up going, continuing along with building sets, at least if we get the figures, uh, the figures is really what's exciting me. The station wagon I like, I, just a few things I would have changed. Um, today's collectible spot, though, we were having a look at the Connects Peter and Station Wagon building set. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to be putting together the Time Machine set that's going to come with the exclusive Stewie. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.